Hi SciChart users, following on from the previous tutorial, we're going to show you how to add zooming and panning behavior to your SciChart surface in code. To do this, we're going to use tutorial number four, adding zooming panning behavior. All of the SciChart tutorials can be found by going to the SciChart website under developers, tutorials, and clicking on WPF chart tutorials. We assume that you've already completed tutorials one to three and that you have this code already set up in Visual Studio. If you haven't done that yet, go back and do it now because we're going to build on this, this uh, code from here forwards. So in tutorial number four, we're going to add zooming and panning behavior. In the previous tutorial, we touched a little bit on the modifier group underneath sidechartsurface.chart modifier. This allows you to add some zooming and panning behavior. So what this code essentially means is we're going to allow rubber band drag zoom. That means a mouse down and drag zoom. It's going to execute on the mouse left button and we got some properties to style the drag reticule. In addition to that, we're going to allow panning on the chart using the zoom pan modifier, which will execute on the mouse right button. We're going to allow dragging of the Y axis and the X axis, but one more scale and one more pan. We're going to allow mouse wheel and double clicking to zoom to extents. So going back to our code, we already have our chart set up with a line series and a scatter series. We already have some modifiers declared in code and in code behind, we have already set up our data uh, onto the chart. So let's go ahead and extend this now to add the extra zooming and panning behavior. Let's go ahead and run our app and see what we've got. So we've got our chart as before, and we can mouse down in order to drag a region and that will zoom in. But also using the right mouse button, we can now pan vertically or horizontally. The Y axis is set up to scale. So if you drag the lower part of the axis, you'll scale here, the upper part, you'll scale here. Whereas the X axis is set up to pan. We've got mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and in addition to this, you can double click and that will reset the zoom to the extents of the data. Some of the properties from the tutorial were missed, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these now. These are for styling of the rubber band XY zoom modifier. So let's run it again and see what we've got. So this time the rubber band is implemented using a gray box with a dotted line around the outside. It's important to know that you can learn a lot about the chart modifier API in the side chart documentation. In the documentation, we talk about what is the chart modifier API and we say, these are all the modifiers that are included in side chart by default. So we include a number of zoom and pan modifiers such as pinch zoom, rubber band zoom, X, Y axis drag, zoom extents, panning, mouse wheel. Uh, and we also include some cursor modifiers such as cursor, rollover, tooltip. Uh, we have the ability to select series or select data points and add legends uh, and so on and so forth. All of these modifiers and more are described in the side chart documentation. You can learn how to apply these to your code what the key properties are and how to configure them. It's worth taking a look through the documentation on these pages if you wish to learn more about the customizable and extensible chart modifier API. The next step in the tutorial is we're going to add a scroll bar. So if you go back to tutorial number four and scroll down to the bottom, we say that scroll bars can be added using the SciChart scroll bar API. So we're going to do this using the following code. First, let's add some grid row definitions. It 
Secondly, we're going to add a side chart scroll bar. It's important that we name our side chart surface so that we can bind to it. The side chart scroll bar expects to bind to the side chart surface X axis. Once you've completed that, let's go ahead and run our app again. Now you'll see a scroll bar at the bottom of the chart. In actual fact, there's a little bit of spacing at the bottom and at the top and bottom. That's because I've done something slightly wrong. Let's go back here and change this height to auto. And run again. As you zoom in, you'll see the scroll bar is moving about. You can drag the right hand side of the scroll bar or the left. You can click in this area to jump. And if you double click, the scroll bar automatically updates. If you're wondering how to remove this little bit of white around the back of the scroll bar, all you need to do is set the background property of your window as follows. There we go. So that concludes tutorial number four, adding zooming, panning behavior and scroll bars to the side chart surface. The source code for this can be found on GitHub under abt software forward slash sidechart.wpf examples. Go into v5 tutorials and you can find code behind or MVVM tutorial source code.